Welcome to this Linden House training video. Today we will be looking at editing documents in Virtual Cabinet. When editing documents in Virtual Cabinet, the system maintains full version control. This means each time we edit a document, we create a subsequent version. Version 1, version 2, version 3, so on and so forth. Additionally, it prevents two people from editing the same document at the same time. To edit the document in Virtual Cabinet, we must select the document and then click on edit on the ribbon at the top. If we just double click the document, we will open it in read only mode only. So select the document and click on edit. Documents will open up in their proprietary software. So what I mean by this, if it's Word document, it will open in Word, Excel, Excel, PDF and Adobe, so on and so forth. My document is now open for editing. I can make whatever changes I deem necessary. Make my changes. I will say save and close. When I go to close the document, it pops up with a message saying, are you ready to save this document as a new version in Virtual Cabinet? For this example, I'm going to say, yes, I'm finished. I will say, yes. We then get a message popped up saying successfully saved the document and it brings in a new version of the document. If you look at the document I've just edited, in the version column, it now states we have version 2. By default, we will always show you the latest version of a document. If I want to see legacy versions of this document, I hit the include all versions radio button, say refresh, and I can see version 1 and version 2 of the document. In this example, I'm going to edit the document again, but I'm going to do a slightly different process using my work in progress. I'll turn off my include all versions and say refresh. I now see the latest version of the document. I select the document, click on edit, and I open it back up in Word to be edited again. Make some further changes to this document. I will say save, close, and again it pops up with a message saying are you ready to save this document as a new version in Virtual Cabinet? It's now half past five, I'm going home and I haven't finished editing this document. So I will say no. You will notice the document now is displayed in red in the search results. This defines to anybody else searching for this document that you have ownership of the document and they cannot make any changes while it's in your possession. They can, however, still view the unedited version of the document. Now, instinctively, when you come back in the next day, you're going to search for the document, go back to your folder and do a search for the document you're looking for. The simplest way to get back to the document you're editing is click on your work in progress tab. And the document is sat here in red in your work in progress. If I double click on the document, again, I will open it in read only mode. I must select the document and say edit and it opens back up in Word again. I'll make some more changes. Save, close. Same message again, am I ready to save it as a new version of Virtual Cabinet? I've now finished so I'm going to say yes. Now says successfully save the document. Okay. My version number increments and my document will disappear from my work in progress. If I say all versions and refresh my search, you can see we now have multiple versions of this document for the multiple different edits I have done. For this example, I'm going to edit my document again. It opens up out into Word. I'm going to make some more changes to the document. I'll say save and close. No, I don't want a new version, so I want it in my work in progress. We increment the version number, and now I'm going to say I actually don't want my changes. So in this situation, I'm going to say discard the version. The work in progress version of this document will be permanently deleted. Do you want to discard your changes? What this is telling us, it will remove the latest version of the document, my current edit. I say yes, and the original version of the document will be placed back into the search result. 
version 4. When editing other types of documents, the process will be exactly the same as you've just seen. So for example, if I edit an Excel spreadsheet, that will open up in Excel rather than Word. Documents will always open in their proprietary software. There may be circumstances where I want to create a whole new version of a document rather than editing the current one filed against a specific client. In this example, I will select my document and say duplicate. A new copy has been sent to your in tray. This has put a carbon copy of that document into my in tray where I can edit it from here. The editing process from your in tray is identical to editing against the client area. One important point to remember, when editing from your in tray, you do not have the concept of revision control. What this means is, every time I make an edit or changes to the document, I will overwrite the original version of the document. I will not get version 1, version 2, version 3, version 4. Thank you for listening, and this ends the editing training for Virtual Cabinet.